Hey fourth grade, this is Mrs. Hansen. I'm just going to do a quick video for our rounding activity today that you can refer to at any time to help you with your work today. So rounding we've been talking about is when we look at the number and when we're told what place to round it to, we use the little saying five and above, give it a shove, four below, let it go. I'm going to do some for you to help you. Okay, so today's activity wants us to round to the nearest thousands, and then later we're going to do round to the hundreds thousands. So up here, I like to label, I did ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. That just helps me remember what place each spot is. Okay, so let's do a, the number... 4,256, okay, and it's saying we want to round to the thousands. Now, if you forget where the thousands are, you can use your little cheat sheet. Ones, tens, hundred, thousands. It's the fourth number. One, two, three, four. You draw the box around the thousands, okay? You look next door at that two. The two is going to be doing all the work. So, is 2 above 5? Is it bigger than 5? No. Is it below 4? Yes, because 2 is smaller than 4. So, 4 below, let it go. So, we're going to let 4 go. It's going to stay as 4. So, I write it down underneath. Everything after the box turns into zeros. So that number was rounded to 4,000. It's also saying that 4,256, if you had your number line, here's 4,000, here's 5,000, right in the middle or midway would be 4,500. And I know 256 is less than 500, so it's closer to 4,000 another way to check if you got your answer right. All right, let's do another one. Let's say I had the number 13,491 and they want us to round to the thousands. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, that fourth number. Draw a box around it. Look next door. That four is going to let us know what to do. So, our poem says five and above, give it a shove, four below, let it go. Well, four below, let it go. That's a four. So, I'm going to let three go. So, I bring three down. Everything up to the box stays the same. So, I'm just going to bring that one down. We didn't do anything to it. And then everything after the box turns into zeros. And there's my comma. It's rounded to 13,000. I'm going to check with my number line to make sure I'm right. Here's 13,000. Here's 14,000. In the middle is 13,500. 491 is less than 500. So it's closer to 13,000 than it is 14,000. So we are right. Check. All right, let's challenge ourselves now and do a hundred thousand. So a hundred thousand is what we're going to round to. So let's say we have the number three hundred sixty-one minus four hundred twenty-nine. Okay, I'm going to look at my little cheat sheet over here. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousands. Ooh, that means the threes and the hundred thousands. I draw a box around the three. Okay, I look next door. That six is going to do all the work. Six says, well, five and above gives it a shove, and six is above five, so I'm going to give this three a shove up into four. Everything after the box turns into zeros, and then you put your comma. My answer is 400,000. I'm going to check with my number line. Well, it's saying 100,000, so it could either be 300,000 
or 400,000. And in the middle would be 350,000. Okay? Well, I know that 61 is more than 50, so it's going to be around here on our number line. And look, it's closer to 400,000. So we got the right answer. Check. That's what you're going to be doing today in your workbook page. Um, Mrs. Hansen's friends, you're going to go under my Hansen page assignment, and you're going to see that I um, adapted it to make it a little bit um, better for us. Okay? All right. Hope this helps. Bye.